come from and where are we going? Welcome to our fascinating documentary, Evolution, Evolution. It is all about where we have come from and where our species might go next. You will learn about creation stories, fossils, dinosaurs, Darwin and much more. Keep watching! formed along with the other planets. Square 248. First cells appeared in the oceans. Square 120. 3.5 billion years ago, first life appeared in the ocean. Square 380. Two, 245 million years ago, age of dinosaurs begin. Uh, 394. 65 million years ago, age of dinosaur ends up with a mass extinction of 70% of all living things. Final square. 3.5 million years ago, first pre-modern humans appear in what is now Africa. 100,000 years ago, first Homo sapiens appears. 10,000 years ago, the first recorded human history begins. The Toilet Roll Timeline! Did you know? 
The oldest known human-like fossil has been dated at 4.4 million years old. We are lucky to be joined by Mary Allen herself. Mary Allen, tell us how you feel. Well, I've never felt so proud. I, I never thought I could find such an incredible discovery. All thanks to my father who taught me how to get them out of the stone they were buried in. He always used to say, one tiny chip at a time, and that you had to be patient, otherwise you'd destroy the whole fossil. That's all for tonight, folks, and goodbye. Process of fossilisation. When an animal dies or, and their body rots away or they drown, their, it, their skeleton will be shown and soon earth will, or sediment will grow on top of it. Then it will compress down over the years. These bones will get spaces between them. Water or air will fill those spaces with tiny little rocks. Then the earth compresses down more and more. And then, if an earthquake happens or by mountains rising naturally, the fossils will poke out of the ground and will be discovered.
polar bears, polar bears have good eyesight so, so they, they can, can see underwater, hunt for their prey, and, and see, see long, long distance. Polar bears have thick fur to keep warm. They, they can fly in the snow to um, attack and defend. They stay hidden in the snow so they can capture their prey. Under their fur is black skin. Under their skin is blubber. This is so they keep warm. Polar bears have big paws. This helps them to swim better. They also have bumpy skin. So they won't slip on ice. Polar bears have thick fur. It helps them to be warm. Polar bears have hollow fur, fur so um, they're lighter in the water. Giraffes are well adapted to a life in a savannah. Their whole lives, because this thick scaly skin stops them from losing water. So these first reptiles, nature selected for a scaly skin because it meant they had an advantage. They could live in places the amphibians couldn't. explored the Galapagos Island with a school that were never silent. They, they found weird things which had pairs of wings and, and animals that, that were really, really quite violent. violent. to chimpanzees. Then we grew backbones and stand, stood up straight. Then we um, um, stand straight and be as a caveman and you know you are a human almost as a human. Then we turn into a human being. Did, Did you know? We share 99% of our DNA with a chip. Ooh, ooh, ah. You share 85% DNA with a mouth. Speak, speak! Thank you for watching our documentary. Now you know everything you need to know. Bye! Bye. Bye.